Hi guys, Moti from Atletica and welcome to my live stream. This is going to be a movement pattern warm up workout from home. It's going to be quite basic, quite simple. We don't need too much equipment. We can use some blocks if it comes in handy, but you don't have to. Uh, we're going to start with a basic warm up. We're going to do some sitting mobility. We're going to talk about speed. We're going to do some planking down dogs into middle splits and half boats and cool down. This is what I'm doing when I'm practicing at home. Try it, enjoy, hope you have some question, take it easy, do it with a lot of awareness and we can already start. And I'm lying on my back. So first thing, when we practice, we want to create awareness and we want to start from the inside out. Inside means from my core, from my spine, from my basic mobility, from my basic movement. So I'm lying on my back and rotating. And I see how many vertebrae can touch the floor all the way up to my neck. I'm moving the hips from side to side to see my range of motion. I'm lifting my knees up, creating big circles with the knees, both sides, and see the differences. Slowly taking the knees in and out, and again switching sides, hips can go up. To this movement, I incorporate my arms and start to push the floor a little bit more and see that when I push the floor my hips go higher. And a bit higher. If they can go all the way back. And releasing. And slowly all the way back. Releasing a few more, all the way back, and releasing, and from this rolling I want to lift one shoulder, and take one shoulder down, and lift one shoulder down, and the arm goes up. goes up and the knees push me down and then push push and straight up and from lying we're going to sitting so pushing with the elbows, sitting, and back down. Pushing with the elbow into sitting. When I'm sitting I'm long, my spine is long. Down, lying, back to sitting. Very slow and with a lot of awareness. We want a lot of awareness here. Down. Pushing myself, going up. And sitting. With bent knees. Twisting. So hips move, spine moves. Neck. Help, get help from the floor. Both sides, twisting the gaze further and further every time. From 
here, taking the arm and going to six. So I'm pushing myself, hand goes into six. And back to sitting, and to six, and sitting, and six, and sitting, six. All the time we want to think about starting movement from our navel, from our core, from our hips, and back to the same side, back to the same side. I actually can do it only with one leg and one arm, and maybe even only with one leg. Do not collapse. I'm exploring here a bit more and warming up. Easy on the wrists now. And now I'm going to stay at six pose. Switch sides. And six pose. I'm going to move sh and shift the weight back and forth. Back and forth. Here it's 100% weight on the legs and here it's more and more on the hands until I'm plank and pushing and feeling the wave and the spine like a wave. You can bend the elbows and straighten them. And we can release back the knees to the floor and some so shoulder rotations from here. From this six, we're going to go to four and slowly step back and forth. It could be small steps, it could be just one big step, but it has to be quiet. some chest rotations, shoulder, shoulder and chest, shoulder, chest and neck. That was our first warm up. I want to emphasize something about the quality of movement before I'm going to continue. You notice there is a lot of awareness in what we do. We need to really focus and understand what the body does, what the motion is, where the motion is coming from, where the movement is created, what body parts are using, are we using in this specific movement. We can use many different body parts. We can use all of the body, less body, more force, less force. Try to notice it and not just do a squat, not just do a push-up. It's a totally different game. It gives you much more answers, much more information that you can extract knowledge from. Try to keep it in mind. Let's continue. Now we're going to do sitting squat mobility. So first thing, we're going to dive into the squat. 
So our spine is long, it's like we're being pulled from the top, and our tail is going down, and we're going slowly. If this is our range, then I'll stay here. If I can go deeper, with no knee pain, great. Heels don't have to touch the ground, but eventually they will. And I want to create this movement and mobility and research where I can go and where I can't. If the elbows help me, if the elbows help me, then I lean on the elbows. So I'm trying to take my knee as forward as I can. If I can touch the floor, I'll touch the floor. Notice that I'm trying to be as not wobbly, I'm not like this. It's because I'm thinking from inside out. down, this helps a lot. If your legs are burning, you can slow down or pause a bit. I'm going to continue with the sitting squat and try to do small steps. Trying to walk in the squat, walk, and if I need help, elbows can help, hands can help. down it's far even the elbows are participating in this movement my chest is floating and enables me to move easier and down and back if you can't do this the hand will help you. Down. And up. And down. Another side. Up. Down. And up. And down. And I can do this one really slow. rest. So you notice I want to say something about speed. The speed is really dependent on what we want to do and where we are at the specific level. If we're learning, let's do it slower. If this is a very complex movement, do it slower. Understand more. And when you master it, you can increase the speed, right? Running is a great example. You cannot sprint for one hour, but you can jog for one hour, maybe. So, the level of intensity also determines the speed. Try to think about it to find the best speed for you, right? The best speed for me and what I'm doing here doesn't necessarily mean that's what you need to do. So, keep awareness and find your own speed. Now we're going to do plank, down dog and elbow plank. We're going to start at six 
and an elbow plank. I'm gonna raise and go down. And first thing, let's see what really works here. So, core pushing the shoulders, and also the fingers really want to push up and down. It's a lot of tricep, the back of the arm is working a lot, but also the core engagement. So, without core engagement, it will look like this. Banana back. Now, we want to really create one piece in our back. It's solid, it doesn't move. And then we also want to create flow. So I can either be very, very rigid, and I can also flow. like this you can already do full circles so I'm going down up down up down elbows all the way down the floor up down up I'm gazing forward gazing up gazing inside down forward yes a few more Exhaling on the way back, inhaling forward. And the other side. I'm going up and down, back and up, down, elbows down, and up. Releasing the neck, releasing the shoulders. So that was elbow plank with mobility. We're going to add down dog to it. So elbow, hips, elbow, down. Back, elbows down, pushing. Elbows down, pushing. Elbows down, pushing. Pushing and lifting the hips and down. Pushing the shoulders, lifting the hips. Down. A few more like this, and eventually we're gonna straighten our arms. So get ready. Shoulders push, hips go up. Shoulder push, hips go up. Straightening the arms. And elbows down, hips down, shoulders, shoulders, hips. You don't have to straighten the legs. We go down. Now we take the chest down. So chest down, elbows up, and back. And some rolling in brown dog, dynamically pushing the shoulders, pushing the hands, straight elbows, Bending one knee, navel goes up, and back to six, elbows down, hips down, and releasing. So we talked about quality of movement, speed, and now we're going to do a bit more understanding, see a bit more understanding about active flexibility. So active flexibility is where we can move 
into our max range. That's our mobility, right? So if we can do a split without moving, it's just flexibility. And active flexibility it means my split or my middle split, for example, with the ability to move. This helps us a lot and it looks quite different than just sitting passively without thinking in your stretch. So I'm going to start sitting really rooted, sit bone is kind of straight. You can start with bent knees and moving side to side, elongating the neck. I'm being pulled from the neck, navel in, pulled from the neck. And I'm starting with rotations, lifting one butt cheek. One sitting bone detaches and I'm moving. When this is pretty much something I understand, I understand my abilities, my capabilities in this movement, let's start adding something. So I'm trying to open a bit my split, only if I can. And moving the hips back and forth. So the hips are going back and forth. And then I'm starting to lift my legs. Just a little bit, detaching a little bit. Even just the knees. Knees go closer to the chest. And you can get some help from the hands that prevent you from falling back. So let's do this. Hands, knees. Hands stop the, the falling and the knees go closer to the chest. So we're creating a movement back and forth. And really contracting. And if you can do it with no hands. And if you can hold, try to hold. And release. And again, moving side to side. Opening up your split a little bit. You might want to use the blocks to help you. You can sit on a block also, it helps you. So we have 90 degrees in our legs or more, and 90 degrees for, with our body and our legs. Move. And the heels push the floor, and the back thighs push the floor, and the sitting bones push the floor, and it makes keeps me tall. Rotating the knees also in and out from the abdominal. We're going to do it again with straight knees if we can. We're going to lift our legs and keep our knees locked and small rounding. So lower back wants to be straight. If it's not straight, it wants to aim to be straight. And I'm in like a half boat, but very playfully. I can pull a rope, I can fly, I can lift my arms, or I can put my arms down, my hands down. But I'm playing here. Grab my hands. And this movement is helpful. And again, 10 more seconds.
release the breath. Round. Doing circles with the heels, one leg, other side. Try to keep the circles clear and pretty. The other leg. Circles in the heels, circle with the knees, both sides. Both knees to two sides. And again, rolling up and down. Try to roll quietly. And see if your toes can touch and your heels can touch. And if you can use the momentum, we go to a deep squat deep sitting squat and rolling back and roll and to standing and again down to sitting squat hand goes down to lying lying on our stomach And go back, inhaling into a low cobra. Catch your breath a little bit. We're gonna continue very soon to a cool down. Now I wanna talk about the spine. You notice that when I went up in a low cobra, I didn't go from the neck. I went up from the entire spine. So we have a lot of vertebrae and we want all of the vertebrae to, use, to be used in this movement. Not just the upper vertebrae of the neck, but all the entire spine wants to be helping for me to erect, right? So notice this, we're gonna do it again. It's not about how high I go, it's about how many vertebrae are helping me in this motion. And the hips, and the legs, and the knees. It's not this, it's not this, it's this. All the way to Nap Dog. Good. And let's cool down. Hands slowly forward, tail back. Tucking the tailbone, tucking the heels, slowly walking forward and releasing the lower back. The head is heavy, loose, from side to side. And slowly we go up, vertebrae after vertebrae. That's it guys, that was our live movement patterns practice. Hope you like it, hope this helps you, you can do it at home. 
If you have questions, feel free to comment. If you want to learn more, check out the other videos. My name is Moti from Athletical. Thanks for joining this live stream. See you next time.